You've made a, a differentiation between what you call a corporate version of a mental health issue mm. uh, and somebody's individual or, or social version. Just depict those two things. What's the difference between a corporate version of a mental okay. health issue and a, an individual or societal? Well, the, the corporate version kind of individualises people's problems as personal deficits. So psychiatrists would say, you know, the reason you're depressed or you're having hallucinations or whatever is because you've got some uh, biochemical defect, which is maybe you know, genetically sourced, and that's, that's the root cause of your problem. It's a personal deficit. You know, the vulnerability model is, is individual. And when corporate organizations such as universities talk about interventions to affect mental health, that's the position they're coming from. Uh, they're not really interested in actual personal well-being. They're interested in maintaining the kind of status quo of where to, of where to identify where the problems is. So I, it's individual problems rather than systemic problems. And is that saying to the individual, look, you've got a deficit, we need to sort that deficit out. It can't possibly be the culture here or the environment that you're yeah. in. It's over to you. This is your problem to deal with. Yeah. For example, if you, if you look at the university system where I worked for many years, where there's continuous talk of you know the serious problems that students have on campus, what doesn't feature in the conversation conversation is the lack of jobs for young people, the fact that they're heavily in debt, they pay enormous tuition fees, there's no maintenance grants, mental health services are cut, and their families, what they've come from, maybe they're on benefits and stuff which have been cut for years. You know, we've seen rises in homelessness, this therapy programme the last 10 years, it's all driving it.